Hare Krishna. Welcome again to our evening kata. We are taking advantage of whatever situation you have in your part of the world. Here we've just been announced another, today is the first day of another almost 20 days of being locked inside with Krishna and Balaram. So we're taking advantage to study more and read more and talk more about Krishna. So we welcome you all to the program today. We're going. I promised yesterday we go to uh, Kus, um, Pavan Sarovar. So I thought, all right, let's do the Pavan Sarovar in some past times around Nandagam today. Hmm. So we're in Vrindavan and in Krishna Conscious only by the mercy of Srila Prabhupada. So we'll sing a beautiful song glorifying the Vaishnava Guru. Uh, you all know this song, E Bara Karuna Koru Vaishnava Gosai. E Bara Karuna Koru Vaishnava Gosai. E Bara Karuna Koru Vaishnava Gosai. Patita Pavana Toma Bina Kehona Patita Pavana Toma Bina Kehona Jahara Nekate Gele Papa Dure Jai Jaharani kate gele Papa dure jai Emana dayala prabhu ke bakota pai Emana dayala prabhu ke bakota pai Gangara parasha hoyle paschate pava Gangara parasha hoyle paschate pava Tarshani pavitra koro eto maragu Tarshani Pavitra Koro Ito Maragu Haristane Aparade Tare Harinam Haristane Aparade Tare Harinam Thomas Tane Aparade Nahi Paritra Thomas Tane Aparade Nahi Paritra Thomas Rido Yesada Govinda Vishra Tomar Rido Yesada Govinda Vishra Govinda Gahena Mora Vaishnava Para Govinda Gahena Mora Vaishnava Para Pratijan me kori asa Charane raduli Pratijan me kori asa Charane raduli Narota me koro daya panaraboli Narota me goro daya panaraboli Jaya Vaishnava Gosai, Jaya Vaishnava Gosai, Jaya 
Vaishnav Gosai Jaya Vaishnav Gosai Jaya Vaishnav Gosai Jaya Vaishnav Gosai Jaya Vaishnav Gosai Jaya Vaishnav Gosai Nanda Gauri Vaishnav Rinda Ki Jaya Srila Prabhupada Ki Jaya So again we welcome you to our evening Kata. Today we're going to take you to a very wonderful place called Pavan Sarovar in Nandagam and maybe a few other places depending on time. Om Ajnana Timurandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksurun Militam Jena Tasmai Sri Garave Nama Sri Chaitanya Manubhistam Stapitam Jena Bhutale Sayam Rupa Kadamayam Didati Svapadandigam Aradana Srinandan Daivridam Yache Puna Puna Sima Rupa Padamuru Dulisyam Janma Janmani Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nithananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasudhi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Ram Ram Hare Hare Bancha Kalpa Trubhyasya Kipa Sindhu Vevacha Patitanam Bhavanevyo Vaishnavevyo Namo Namaha So on the northwestern side of Nandagam there's a very large lake called Pavan Sarovar. Actually when a kun becomes too big, then we call it a sarovar. And it's very, very large, picturesque, one of the most picturesque bodies of water and places in Braj. Uh, beautiful trees all around, b small little temples on the banks. In fact, this is where we start our Kalash Yatra, when we have our Vrindakun festival. We take a little water from Pavan Sarovar and our Kalashas, our pots, and then all the ladies carry the water pots with coconuts on top and the men behind with Sankirtan go all around Nandagam and out to Brindakun. So we start here from Pav and Sarovar, huge lake. Actually, the original name of this place is Nanda Sarovar because Nanda Maharaj, he excavated this place for the pleasure of the Rishbasi, so it became known as Nanda Sarovar. How it became Pav and Sarovar is a very interesting history. One time Nandalala he saw that Mother Yasoda was making all kinds of funny bhojan, not the regular rice dal, chapati and sabji. She was making all types of fried things. Uh, little fried noodles we call save, little cracker like things we call matri, all types of fried things she was making. So Nandalala came and he said, Maya, I'm ready, Maya, what kind of funny bhojan are you making today? Kisprakarpa chitra bhojan banari ajmaya. And Madhya Sora said, Lala, your Baba, he's going on pilgrimage. So all these things are fried in ghee. They will last a long time. So he will eat them along the way. Hmm? Because still today in India, there's many people who don't eat things cooked outside the house. Hmm? Of course, it's becoming less. Otherwise, when we go on the train, we wouldn't hear all the no noise. Kela kela banana, kela kela banana, save, save, apple, apple, save, save, apple. Sandre, sandre, orange, orange, sandre, sandre, orange, singara, singara, garam, garam, singara, garam, garam, singara. Chai, chai. Huh? But still, we'll see many people, very cultured people, they bring their little tiffins with all the little fried things and eat them along the way. Hmm? So Lala said, and Maya, Baba, where is he going? Where is Baba going, Maya? Please tell me where Baba is going, Maya. He said, Lala, he's going to Prayag. Acha Maya, where is that? Where is that, Maya? All right, Lala, I'm busy cooking. You ask too many questions. Because all the mothers out there, you know, the little boys, they ask too many questions, isn't it? Huh? He said, you go ask your Baba, I'm busy cooking. Hmm? So then he went to Nanda Baba. And he said, Baba, Baba, where are you going? Where are you going, Baba? Baba, where are you going? He said, Lala, I'm going to Prayag. Acha, Baba, where is that? Where is that, Baba? 
Lala, that is a very sacred place where Ganga, Jamuna and Saraswati join in Sangam. When two or more rivers join together, then we call it Sangam. Mm -hmm. Just like we're from all over the world, someone from Singapore, some from America, someone from South Africa, somebody from Italy, somebody from Australia, everybody, we're all joined in Bhakta Sangam, virtual Bhakta Sangam. Hmm. Acha Baba, but Baba, you should not go today. Today is very inauspicious day. You should, you should go tomorrow. Hmm. Tomorrow's more auspicious day to start journey. Tomorrow's Akshay Tritya. It's coming in just a few days, as a matter of fact. Hmm. On the twenty, here in India, on the twenty-sixth is Akshay Tritya. You may have seen on the Vaishnava calendar. One day comes uh, Akshay Tritya, beginning of Chandan Yatra. You've seen, right? Uh, so, uh, that Akshay Tritya day, Akshay, just like England, we have one very wonderful God brother named Akshay. Shai means to diminish. So, Akshay means which always increases. So, anything that is done on this particular day, Akshay Tritya, the third day after the Amavasya of this particular month of Baisak, uh, then that has unlimited results. Therefore, we find uh, people open up their new store on Akshay Tritya Day because everybody wants that their profit should be Akshay, ever increasing. Not like today where it's going down, that today the shop is closed. Anyway. Uh, and people do Griha Pravesh. Griha Pravesh means first entrance into the new house. Because everybody wants in their new house, their happiness will be Akshay, always increasing. And if you want to come to Nandagam to see the festival, you will have to book your taxi well in advance. Because all the taxis will be booked for Shadi, weddings. Because uh, Akshay Triti is such an auspicious date, Titi, that even without consulting the astrologer, the Pandaji, you can do your wedding. Because everybody wants that should also be Akshay. Happily ever after. Hmm. And for starting journey, it is also very auspicious date. Hmm. So Nanda Baba said, Okay, Lala, since you're telling, tomorrow I will go. So next morning, like every morning, like all of us before Mangalarati, we get up to take our bath. So Nanda Baba, he got up, he went downstairs, Aldi there in Nanda Sarovar. And he was just rolling in the dust and laughing. Oh, 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 oh. Then bathing in the sarovar, then rolling in the dust. Ah, ha, 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 ha. He never saw such a personality in his Nandaka. And he went there and he said, Maharaj, who are you? He said, Baba, I'm Prayag. And Nanda Baba said, Prag? There's no Prag who lives around here. Are Baba, not from here. I'm Prayagraj, king of all the tears, where Ganga, Jamuna, and Saraswati join in Sangam. Acha? Is it? And why have you come here? Oh, Baba, all year long, everybody coming and putting their pop on me. You know pop, Coca Cola 7 Up? No. Pop means sin. All year long, everybody putting their pop on me. One day on this Akshay Tritya day, I come here, I roll in this dust of brudge, I take bath in this rover, and I become pavana. Pavana means purified. Just like we know the word patita, pavana, who purifies the patit, the fallen souls. Hmm? Acha, is it? Then on the other side of the kun, Nanda Baba, you saw so many beautiful ladies were there. Not like Nandagam ladies. Nandagam ladies also very beautiful, but this was different type of beauty. Uh, just like we see uh, the Indian ladies, they have different, the North Indians have certain type of beauty. From South India, they like to put flowers in their hair like that. From the Bengalis have different type of beauty. The Russians are all white and white. The Americans have different type of beauty. The Chinese devotees have funny eyes like this, very beautiful. Uh, so this was different type of beauty. Hmm. And they were all wearing very gorgeous saris, not like Nanagam sari. Nanagam sari also nice, but this was special beauty, hmm? with golden thread going like this and silver thread going like this. Hmm? Uh, 
So he went there, he said, ladies, who are you? Somebody said, Ganga, Saraswati, Narmada, Sindhu, Kaveri, Kuru Jangala, Godavari, Tungabhadra, Krishnaveni. All the sacred rivers were there taking bath. He said, Acha? Is it? And ladies, why have you come here? Oh, Baba, all year long, everyone putting their pop on us. One day we come here on this Akshay Tritya, we roll in this dust of bread, we take bath in this rover, and we become Pavana, purified. Acha? Is it? So then the Maharaj, he took his bath. Then he went back upstairs. By that time, Nanda Lala woke up. And Lala came. Baba, Baba, now you're going, Baba. Baba, now you're going. Arya Lala, Abhne Jaunga. Now I'm not going, Lala. Acha, Baba, why is that? Why is that, Baba? Lala, every place I wanted to go, they all came here today to take bath, so why should I take trouble to go there? Kyong Kastu Taki Mahajai, why should I take trouble to go there? So from that day, this place became known as Pavan Sarovar. And anybody who takes bath in this Sarovar, takes some water on his head, he becomes Pavan, purified. So it became known as Pavan Sarovar. And Pavan Sarovar, there's a beautiful well sticking out into the water. And there used to be a little room there around that well where Radharani used to cook. Because we heard the pastime that uh, Radharani cooks for Krishna. You know that pastime. You don't know that pastime. You want me to tell another pastime? Okay. One time, Durvasa Rishi came to Braj. And we all know Durvas Rishi. He's very famous for being very angry. Hmm. So, all the little gopikas, they fled away except for Srimati Radharani. She told Baba Beto, Baba Beto, Baba, sit down, Baba. Then she made a little clay pot and she made little clay pans and she made little clay sabjis and little clay puris and little clay samosas and pakoras and little clay chutneys and everything made out of clay. Uh, this was Radharani's little play clay kitchen. Hmm. So then she made little clay tali and little clay katoris and she put everything on the plate. She put a little glass of water, put a little flour and she took it to Durvasri. She said, Lo Baba, Lo Baba, take Baba, take Baba. And Durvasri, he saw it's all just clay play. He said, it's okay, Lali, take it, Lali, take it, Lali. He said, no, Baba, Lo Baba, Lo Baba, take the Baba, take. I said, it's all right, Lali, it's all right. So then Jabardusti, by force, she took one of her little clay ladus and she pushed it into Durvas Rishi's mouth. Durvas Rishi, he never tasted a ladu so exquisitely sweet in his whole life. And right from his heart he gave benediction. Because that benediction from the heart has got special power. Just like I've seen here in India, all the Indian children, they're very, very clever. In the morning, they go to their mother, father, their auntie, uncle, grandmother, grandfather, all the elders. Hmm? And what do they do? They bow down and touch their feet. And the elders feel so happy in their hearts. Whole rest of the day, they're going to drive them nuts. But in the morning, they touch their feet and they feel so happy. And they give blessing right from the heart. Aishman Baba, you live a long life. Hmm? So Daras Rishi, right from his heart, he gave blessing. Ari Lali. Whatever you cook will be just as sweet as nectar, and whoever tastes your cooking will never get any disease. Hmm? So then all the Brishbasis, they insisted that Radharani has to cook for Krishna. Because we see one funny thing in Braj. We all love children. But uh, we love our own child more than others' child. Natural. But in Braj, everyone loves Nandalala more than their own child. Huh? And the parents are always worried the children are going to get sick. Huh? Now all the schools are closed all over the planet. Uh, they're worried that they get sick. Huh? So uh, they're always worried. So the Brishvasis, they thought if he eats Radharani's cooking, he'll never get coronavirus and he'll live for a long time and we'll all be very happy. Huh? So they insisted that Radharani has to cook. Hmm? So here in Nandagam, oh, Mother Yasoda, she loves Radharani so much. Whenever she comes to cook, she just embraces her to her breast uh, and just said, Lali, you're so sweet. This whole house is yours. Why are you so shy? Because she's 
in the house of uh, another, out another's house, and she's in the house of her beloved. She's feeling a little hesitant. Said, "This house is your house. You take the key. It's now your response to everything. Mm -hmm. First, you take wash your hands. You take some breakfast, then you cook for Lala. Uh, and meanwhile, Lalita Saki and Vishaka and all the other Sakis, they've already cut everything up, and there's 50 ovens they've already lit up." And Radharani sits in the middle of 50 ovens. Hmm? And sometimes, like today, it's 38 degrees. It's over 100 degrees, I think, almost, uh, for the Fahrenheit wellers. Uh, so you can imagine sitting in front of 50, 50 ovens, burning bright. Everything's all chopped up and ready for Radharani to cook. Now in Javat, when she's in her mother-in-law's house, She's feeling so much separation. It's called viraha agni, the fire of separation. If she lies down, then all the lakes in the area of Javad begin to dry up. The gopikas, they put little malati flowers and madhavi flowers and ju juhi flowers, jasmine flowers, covered with sandalwood paste to, for Radharani to lie on to cool off. As soon as she lies down, phew, turns to ashes. Like that. That Varahagni is her feeling separation. Now she's so happy to be in the village of her beloved. She sits in front of 50 bright ovens uh, and she's cooking. Not a single bead of perspiration comes in her. She's so happy to be here like that. So that place is right on the side of uh, Pavan Sarovar. Hmm. Sometimes Brisabanu used to come from Barsana and he will bathe on one side of the kund. And sometimes Nanda Baba and his family, they'll bathe on the other side of the kund. And Krishna will swim under the water and under the water he can tell which is Radharani's feet and he'll grab Radharani's feet and give her a big fright. But sometimes, just now Chakravarti Thakur explains, they're bathing at each end and Radha and Krishna swim under the water and in the middle they have underwater pastimes there. Uh, so, uh, this is Pavan Sarovar, hmm? very wonderful place. And there we'll also find the Bhajan Kutir of Srila Sanatana Goswami. We were talking yesterday, uh, a few days ago, about, oh, yesterday, because Rupa Goswami came from uh, Terkadam with some nice kheer. So, originally, Sanatana Goswami was sitting there just under the trees. And sometimes in the heat, sometimes in the rain, sometimes in the cold. So the Brishvasi said, Baba, why don't you build a kutir? He said, I'm just here temporarily. So anyway, the Brishvasis themselves built a little kutir. So we find a very beautiful place, the Bhajan Kutir of Sanatana Goswami. Very special place. And every day, you'll see when you go there to that Bhajan Kutir, there's a painting on the altar. You see a little coward boy is there asking Sanatana Goswami to tell him stories about Krishna and sing songs about Krishna. And he's delivering him milk. Hmm? Actually, our Goswamis have explained that Krishna himself came in the form of this coward boy to deliver milk to Sanatana Goswami. He has his bhajan kutir right there on the side of Pavan uh, Sarovar. Hmm? And also, nearby Sanatana Goswami's bhajan kutir, more recently, we find the, the, the Samadhi Mandir of Srila Prabhupada's very dear friend, Akinchana Krishnadas, Babaji Maharaj. Hmm. He was a godbrother of Srila Prabhupada and he was very, very dear to Srila Prabhupada. They told me the story, my older godbrothers here in Vrindavan told me the story that one time Prabhupada was sitting in a room and so many big, big people were sitting there and Akinshana Krishna's Babaji entered the room. Uh -huh. And immediately Prabhupada looked up with such joy in his face. So much love was going between their eyes. Uh -huh. And Prabhupada just ignored everything, began chattering in Bengali with, with uh, uh, Akinshana Krishna's Babaji. Uh -huh. And Prabhupada would say something in Bali, Bengali and Akinshana Krishna's would laugh. Then Akinshana Krishna would say something in Bengali and Prabhupada would laugh. And then back and forth like this. And then suddenly Prabhupada went, Hmm. Tandaranis Chadaranasevi Bhakta Sanivas, Janame Janame Oiya Bilas. Even Krishnadas was shocked when Prabhupada just stopped like that. 
And then he said something funny and Prabhupada laughed. And then Prabhupada said something, he laughed, just went back and forth. And Prabhupada went, hmm, Tandara Charana Seve Bhakta Sani Bhas, Janame Janame Hoi E Abhilas. And Krishna was shocked. And then again he said, three times this went like this. Hmm. Prabhupada loved Krishna Das so much. Hmm. Actually, Radhana Swami tells the story how somehow by chance he overslept and he got to, he missed his stop in Delhi and he got off in Mathura and it was Jamastami. Then everyone told him that if you want to understand this place, there's a fellow who has books in English named Ban Maharaj, you go there. So he went to his ashram and he met this, there he met a Kanchana Krishnadas Babaji who used to stay there. And he saw this guy was always chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. If he wasn't chanting, he was doing bhajans. Hmm? One day, that day is coming, this, two days or two or three days after Nishringa Chaturdasi, there's one special day called Banbihar uh, um, uh, Prikama. Because now it's very, very hot. So all the Brishbasis do Prikama of Vrindavan at night. All around Vrindavan. And everywhere, everyone's giving the same thing. This watermelon and this green melon and this special cucumber we call kakri that grows in the hot season. Everybody's giving out the same prasad all around. They put the little, you know, in the old days we used to have all these little puppets with Nanda Baba and Yasoda. And right outside the Goshala, because we have sweet water in our Goshala, very rare. Uh, and we used to uh, have a kirtan in the garden and give out sweet water and have this display of Nanda Baba and the gopis and Radharani and Krishna. Huh? It's very nice. Everybody does prikama night. It's very nice at night. Hmm? So Radha Swami, he went on prikama with all the Brishvazis. So next morning he didn't get up for Mangalarti. And that time the, there wasn't a shower or anything. There was just a well in a bucket. So he was taking his bath and he heard this voice in perfect English say, Why didn't you get up for Mangalarti? And Radha Swami looked around. All he saw was a skinny little Bengali fellow who obviously didn't look like he knew English. So he just ignored him and he continued taking his bath. You answer me, why didn't you get up for Mangalarti? Hmm? And he looked around, he didn't see anybody. He couldn't figure out. And then third time as he was starting to bath again, you answer me, you should always get up for Mangalarti. Then he realized it was a Kinchanagur. He never saw him do anything except chant Hare Krishna. Hmm? Uvinda Maharaj tells the same story that he met. They used to love Krishnadas' kirtans. And one time he was came to a Kinchana Krishnadas Baba and he said, Babaji Maharaj, do you speak any? English. I think it's speak well, quite nicely, I, I do. <laughs> so Guru Vindamara tells the story, one time it was a Kadasi. Hmm. So they thought, oh, let's go down to Kitchen of Krishna's place at, in Ban Maharaj and we'll record him doing bhajans. They got all their little uh, tape recorders, if you remember those things. Some of you were young, too young to know those things. They had little cassette recorders. Hmm. So they all went down to Kinchan and Krishna's Baba room at Ban Maharaj's place upstairs. As soon as they came in, and Krishna and Krishna looked at all their little machines, he said, Today is a Kadasi. You put all those machines away. Today we're going to chant Hare Krishna. Hmm? And so he made them put all their machines away. And he said, We're going to chant Hare Krishna. And no schnickety schnick. <laughs> And then Govinda Maharaj was thinking, oh my God, that time he was a Yodhya Patitas. He said, oh my God, now we're stuck. He's never going to let us get out if we can't sneak out. Oh, we're stuck here all day chanting Hare Krishna. We thought we were going to get nice budgets. And he's all right, everyone sit down, now chant. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And after, after about an hour, they were all chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. After another hour, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And they chanted the whole day and night with a Krishna Krishna Babaji Maharaj. Mm -hmm. So, 
Another time, a Kinshana Krishna came to visit the devotees, the teachers in the uh, Gurukul. Hmm. And he told them, you know, when your Swami Maharaj took uh, sannyas, I was there. He said, yes. And you know what I was doing? And everybody looked at him very intently. He said, I was chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Huh? Huh? And your Swami Maharaj, he was very happy. Hmm? In fact, uh, Bhakti Pragyam Kesha Maharaj was signaling to me like this to go less because Narayan Maharaj was sitting there chanting all the sannyas mantras and doing the jug and everything and he was going like that. And I saw your, your Prabhupada from backside, he was going like this. Huh? And I knew he will preach Krishna consciousness all over the whole world. Harinam, he will preach all over the whole world. So this beautiful Bhajan Kutir, uh, Samadhi Mandir of uh, Kitchen Krishna's Babaji is there. The last of his life he came to Nandagam. He stayed there at Sanatana's place. And he kept a little notebook in that notebook. It says, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Uh, there's nothing in the 14 worlds except the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. In all the three worlds, there's nothing but the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Just forever chant the holy name. That was the last entry in his notebook. And he entered the eternal pastimes of Krishna and Balaram in Nandagam and the devotees from Venezuela made this beautiful um, bhajan kutir for him. Hmm? Opposite of, op, there, there's a big school there called Sri Krishna Chaitanya Inter College. This was built by Maharaj with the help of one of my very dear God brothers, Rishikesh Ananda Prabhu. At that time he had come to India, but Prabhupada had left. So Prabhupada told him to stay with Ban Maharaj, but Mar Maharaj tricked him, took away all of Prabhupada's letters to him, and said, Swami Maharaj, forgot about you, you've become my disciple. So he gave him sannyas, and he had him build this school, Krishna, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Inter College. He went to Delhi, he got iron from the iron people, he got bricks, girders from somebody else, and bricks from somebody else. He went to uh, Rajasthan and got sand, so many things he did. And then he built this beautiful college there, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Inter College. Mm -hmm. Because what had happened, uh, this originally was owned by the Maharaj of Bardaman. Sometimes when you're going to Mayapur from Vrindavan, you go on the, the train, then there's a, one station before Calcutta called Bardaman. Actually, if you get down to Bardaman station, then you just go through the rice fields, take a taxi to the rice fields to Mayapur. You have to cross over the bridge, Goranga Seto, and come to Mayapur. Otherwise, you go all the way down to Calcutta and then come all the way back up to Mayapur through all the nasty factories and everything. It's very beautiful. You just get down to Bardaman, catch a taxi, and go. Hmm? So the king of Bardaman, he was practically atheist. And he didn't believe in all these sadhu babas. They're all bogus fellows. So in Bardaman, even today, they have a road called Exposition Road, where Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati made a theistic exhibition, all beautiful dolls and everything, and had a big program in Bardaman. So the king of Bardaman, he heard that this fellow has come, some sadhu has come. Now he never bowed down before any sadhu before in his life. And he came into Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur's room, immediately his head went to the ground, boom, like that. He became follower of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta after that. And then he came to Braj. He saw this beautiful Pavans rover. He thought this place needs to be protected. So he was a king, so he purchased. I have seen, it's all written in Urdu, so I don't know what it really says, but it's the transfer of the land from whoever owned it to the, the king of uh, Bardaman. Uh, then, of course, after 1947, all the kings lost their kingship, so he had no more, more money to maintain this place. Uh, so he gave it over to Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur to maintain. Bhakti Siddhanta asked um, Ban Maharaj to maintain. So it's maintained there by uh, 
Ban Maharaj, and then he built the college, and Samanathan Bhajan Kutir. And the other side, we have the beautiful deities of Radha, Pavan Bihari. Very, very beautiful deities. They have, they have a tiny little temple, but Nitai Baba, who stays there, disciple of Ban Maharaj, he built a big temple. In fact, he opened that temple on Akshay Tritiya Day, the new temple he opened on Akshay Tritiya Day. Uh, and it's overlooking. Uh, in 2002, one devotee, uh, what's his name? He's from Qatar. He's originally from South India, but from Qatar. His name is slipping away. Chaudhry. Chaudhry Prabhu. He excavated. You won't believe how deep Pavan Sarovar is when you see it without any water. He excavated the, all this black gunk out of the kun, out of the Sarovar. It was, it was amazing to see. And they finished in 2003, the same year that we... Uh, installed the new deity in Brindakun, opened the Brindakun temple 2003 and that year there was so much rain it was but not flooding rain just a little bit rain every day a little bit rain every day it was nice and the sarovar was full mm -hmm. and he fixed up all the gods and recently more people have fixed up the gods and it's a very very wonderful place mm -hmm. I forgot the one detail that after they finished building the Sri Krishna Chaitanya Inter College, there was some money left over. So Rishikesh Ananda, he made a big, huge pot of sweet rice and they fed every resident of Nandagam up to their ears with sweet rice from this place. Uh, so it's still a very nice place, one of the most scenic places in Braj. Hmm. We have a little bit of time, so not far from Pavan Sarovar, there's another place called uh, one, day, one day we told the story about the pearls. So once, just before you get to Pavan Sarovar, there's a road that goes out to Motikund, where the pearl pastime took place. Another road goes to on the other side, the behind the road that goes behind. Sanat Goswami's Bhajan Kutir, that goes out to uh, Genda Korgan. Genda means ball. There Krishna and Balaram and all the cowherd boys used to play ball. Mm -hmm. But a little ways down the road, there's a place called Lalitakund, mm -hmm. which is just as you're coming from Barsana, just as you enter, start just about to enter the village, on the right side there's a beautiful little place. Uh, used to be very dense foliage, but now the government knocked down all of the trees and built a big monster kund and everything. It used to be very dense foliage, and even in the summer it was cool there. And beautiful, we call it Hindol, you know Julan, because Julan Yatra is coming up after a couple more months. Uh, two big pillars with a um, arch in the middle for a swinging Radha and Krishna the beautiful temple of Radha Lalit Bihari. So this is a place, it's called Lalitakun, where Lalitam, because uh, it's coming from Barsana, so Radharani and this Lalita and Saki and all the Sakis will meet Krishna there at this place. Hmm. So one time, the villagers tell this story, that one time Krishna was trying to, to get Radharani to understand about Narad Muni. He said, this Narad Muni, he's a very, very clever fellow. You must be very careful from him. Yeah? He goes to one side, makes one story. He goes to the other party, makes another story, and he starts a big fight in between them. Mm -hmm. He's a very, very clever fellow. You should be very careful. If you ever fall into his uh, chakra, his circle, then uh, our relationship will be finished. And Radharani said, how anything can come between, between us? And Krishna shrugged his shoulders, I'm not going to tell you later, I told you so. Just be careful. Hmm. So one day, Nard Muni, Krishna was there in, in Lalitakun. The, everybody was waiting for Radharani to come, and Lalita Saki and all the Sakis were there. And... Well, no one was there actually, this is another time, excuse me. 
Krishna was there at Lalitakun, and Narad Muni came. And he began to sing beautiful prayers to Krishna. Huh? Huh? And Krishna was very pleased. He said, Narad, whatever benediction you want, you take. Are Lord, I'm just happy to sing your glories. I don't want anything. Just let me be always in, engaged in chanting your glories. No, no, Narada, whatever you want, you take. You must have some little desire there, some spiritual desire. No, no, bus, I'm happy just to sing your glories. All right, Narada, come on, tell me. Well, this is such a beautiful place. And there's a beautiful Hindu here, Julian. Huh? I would just one time like to see you and Lalita swinging on this, Julian. Hmm? So Krishna said, Tatastu, so be it. So one time, Radha and all the Sakis were sitting there waiting for Radharani to come from Barsa. Now somehow, legend has it that the ladies are always late. I'm not saying that, but legend has it. Hmm? So Radharani was late. Suddenly Nard Muni appeared in the sky on the scene and he looked down and Krishna remembered, I told Narada that I would benedict him with this benediction. So he sat on the swing and he told Lalita Saki, now Lalita, come you sit with me. Now Lalita Saki, her whole life, every ounce of her being is to make arrangements for Radha to meet with Krishna. She doesn't even in dream thinking of meeting with Krishna directly. Huh? And she said, no, 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 no. Say, come on, sit down, sit down. Sit. Then Krishna got all the gopis going, come on, sit her down, sit her down, sit her down. So all the gopis, they got very joyful and they grabbed Lalita Saki and they sat her right down next to Krishna on the swing. And all the Sakis began to swing and sing beautiful songs. And, and Lalita Saki and Krishna were swinging on the swing. Narad Muni was there in the outer space. He was seeing the whole thing, early in the sky anyway. He was seeing the whole thing. He paid his obeisance to the Lord and he flew away. Which way did he go? He went toward Barsana. And he was singing with his little clangers. Lalita Krishna, Lalita Krishna, Lalita Krishna, Lalita Krishna, Lalita Krishna, Lalita Krishna. So uh, he flew by Radharani's room where she was putting on her makeup. Hmm? And he came by, Lalita Krishna, Lalita Krishna. And Radharani says, Muniraj, Every day you're taking my name and Takarji's name? Why today you're singing like this? Oh, you think Lalita Saki is your best friend, don't you? Well, maybe in front of you, behind your back, you don't know what's going on. You should go there to Lalita Kun right now and see what's happening behind your back. Lalita Krishna, Lalita Krishna, Lalita Krishna, Lalita Krishna. Radharani didn't even finish her makeup. She immediately ran to the spot. And she saw from a distance that R Krishna and Ladya Saki were enjoying on the swing like anything. And Radharani made angry m mudra. You know, angry mudra, hands are on the hips and toe is tapping. Hmm? And Lalita Saki, she saw Radharani. And Krishna, he saw Radharani. He said, oh no. And then Lalita Saki, no. Because Lalita Saki is the one that when Krishna is too clever, then he separates Radharani from him and says, you be a good boy. Hmm? And when he's a good boy, then she's the one who brings them together. But now she herself is in problem. Who's going to bring them together now? And she, and she, and she was thinking, it wasn't my idea. They just, it just happened like this, you know. And Krishna went there, and he's trying to massage Radharani's little. And she said, get away. Our relationship is finished. You get away from me. You don't, don't see me anymore. Finish. And then Krishna, slowly, he began to massage Radharani's lotus feet and explain about the benediction that he gave to Narad Muni. And then Radharani, she realized what Krishna had told her, don't ever listen to this fellow. <laughs> and then she realized her mistake. <laughs> Jai Jai Sri Radhe Shah. So this is a very beautiful place, Lalita Kund. There's a nice Baba there, Balaram Baba, who's taking care. He's fixed it up so nicely. Uh, and very wonderful place. Across the street, is Nanda Betak. Little ways up the street and across the way is Nanda Betak. Betak, if you've been to India, you know Beto, Beto, sit down. Betak is a place where you sit. So where do you sit? You sit in meetings. Hmm? We waste so much time in meetings. In fact, we have a great sage in America named Murphy. He says, 
A meeting is a place where minutes are kept and hours are lost. And so this is Nanda Betak, where all the Brishvazis have their meetings about the welfare of Krishna. So one time, Upananda, Nanda Baba's elder brother, he called him Betak, a meeting of all the cowherd men. And he suppose you're all wondering why I've called you here today. But the thing is, when Garga Rishi did the name, name giving ceremony of Krishna, he told that he may be some great personality, he may be some yogi, he may be some demigod even, or maybe he intended that he might be an expansion of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Narayan himself. So in view of all of these things, it is simply imperative that Mother Yasoda stopped chasing him with sticks, tying him with ropes, pulling his ear, and Nanda Baba says, look, wait a minute. You can say anything and anything about what my son may be. But to me, he's just my little son, and if he does wrong, I'm going to correct him. Hmm? Huh? You say he may be some great personality. Hmm? But we see ordinary persons, they can control their senses. But this guy, he has to eat 50 times a day. And if there's not enough sugar in the sweet, oh my goodness, what a tantrum he throws. Hmm? And uh, if anything's missing, you can know that it was my son who did it. Hmm? He's such a thief. Huh? How can you say, is this a this a great yogi? You say he may be some demigod or expansion of the Supreme Lord. Then you please explain to me that why when it's thunder and lightning out, he comes running into the room and crawls under the covers with me and Mother Yasoda. <laughs> and he's so frightened. This is not a per great personality. And he's such a liar. He's always lying. Hmm? And he boasts about things he didn't do. And he lies about things that he did do. <laughs> And if anything's, and he's always, and you ask him, were you bothering the gopis? He, he wasn't there. Did you steal the butter? No, I didn't steal the butter. Were you eating clay? No, I wasn't eating clay. He's such a liar. He's, I can't understand how you can say, he's, this, is, this is the way a great person acts. Is this is the way a great person acts. I don't want to be a great person. And he gradually, all the Brishmazis, thinking about all the wonderful pastimes they have with Krishna, they all began to laugh. Nanda Baba, he was very grave in the beginning, he began to laugh. He said, he's such a rascal. <laughs> He did that, <laughs> and all the British brothers began to laugh. <laughs> Tears were coming from their eyes, their bellies were aching. They couldn't even catch their breath, they were laughing so much. And then finally they suddenly stopped, and then everyone looked at one another. <laughs> <laughs> and thinking of all of Wonder Krishna's wonderful pastimes, they all began to laugh. <laughs> and they forgot what was the purpose and the meaning, why it had been called. They were only remembering Krishna, and that's the only reason we should call meetings. And that's why we will called you here today every 5.30, to hear about this rascal fellow and hear about his wonderful pastimes. And just remember Krishna. Hare Krishna, thank you very much. Hmm? So how many people came today? Hundreds of you. Thank you very much. You all, please remain safe. We'll be here again tomorrow. And with some more wonderful pastimes, maybe we'll go do some Gaur Lila again. We still have promised to do one more day of Prabhupada Lila. So please stay with us. Thank you very much. I thank you for all the kind comments that you send every day. Hare Krishna.